Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Ravenous Devils. Either for the last time or for a second to the last time, because I know that we are very close to ending this game. I know because I was told, and because I just I just have a feeling. Because look at we have literally every upgrade in the game except for the tomato, potato, onion, and pigeon garden. We have every piece of mail except for mail number nine or number 10 and maybe 11. I know this is a spot for 10. There might be an 11th piece of mail. The only other thing that we haven't done is buy any like decorations for the restaurant, the pub, the kitchen. I don't plan on spending any of my money on that, at least until I've bought all the upgrades. And then we can start spending our money jack offedly and then look at look at our reputation like it's getting close so i i believe that we're close to the end of the game i'm ready to see this through i have everything fully grown in the garden i could honestly send this all down to hildred but i'm gonna wait because she's got she's got enough stuff and i'm deciding now that each plate is gonna be for a different type of meat meal so if something is going to be ordered and it has minced meat this is going to be on the left side Sausage is going to be in the middle and steaks are going to be on the right. So if somebody orders something with minced meat, I have to put everything minced meat related on this table. That might fuck me over if two people order something with minced meat because I now have four tables up here. So I'm going to have to figure it out from there. I've got a full stock of uh, displays. I have a full stock of the the mannequins everything is fully stocked up except for all of my meats and my vegetables so let's open the shop and see what happens because i'm intrigued i'm very excited to see how horrible i can mess this all up ah first customer are you here to grab something from our wonderful displays or sit at one of our finest tables and these chairs don't look very comfortable but don't think about that you won't be dining out for very long because you'll die soon after. I also do kind of feel like this game has done something to me mentally because I was looking at some of the recipes trying to figure out what I wanted to make. And I was looking at some of the food, like the, the end results for some of the meals. And I'm not going to lie to you. Some of that stuff looks kind of appetizing once it's been finished. Once it's like <laughs> actually done, cooked and plated. It looks good. Like looks kind of good oh shit i'm not even worried about the fuck percival no put that down do your thing yeah this is where i fall apart uh okay i need sausage and egg now i need the egg back there's blood everywhere back or wait would it be best if i just would it be best if i let the gin do its work because then I won't get any mixed reviews. I can have all good reviews if, uh, what's his name? Just keeps on sending up the gin. I don't know. I'm not really going to worry too much about the mixed reviews because they're not going to bring down our score at all. It's just if any of them go into the red, then I'm definitely going to be using the gin. Can you grab the sausage, please? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Oh, wait, it's it actually doesn't matter. Because... I only had one body. Oh, no! Our tables up top are... Oh, no! Our tables up top are empty. Shoot, 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 shoot. 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 Yeah, yeah, everything's kind of going to shit now. And I don't have any meat for this order. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to make this because I don't have... I don't have enough for sausage. I don't have any eggs! First of all, send the eggs down! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is bad. This is actually kind of bad. This is, like, not even kind of bad. This is horrendously bad, if I'm being honest. Um, we may have some bad reviews. 
we may have some some bad reviews. Uh... Oh shit, he didn't send the eggs down. Did he? Wait, he did. I think. These are the eggs, right? Yeah. Okay. Egg carton. Uh-oh. 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 Shit, give them Jen! So cool. Hunt her down! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How does one... How does one keep track of everything that's happening? How... How on earth? Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. So I need, I need that, I need that to go. Oh no, I should have given them their eggs. Fuck. This is going all bad. This is going all types of bad. This is my punishment. All right, this family is gonna go into the red, but as long as, as long as, uh, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, the day's over? Okay. I took too long, I guess. I don't know. We got a cutscene, though. This place stinks! Is there anyone here? I'm sorry, madam, but I'm about to close. Maybe you could call in tomorrow, or perhaps another day. I don't intend to wait any longer. Excuse me? Yesterday, I sent someone to pick up my dress. I decided to order something. Just because people say that you are the best tailor around here, and what I get is an awful dress? You shall make me a replacement, free of charge! Or I shall have this place shut down! I apologize for the inconvenience. Was the order in your name? Yes, of course! I'm Yvonne LaRoche. Is this how you treat all your customers? Oh, Miss LaRoche. It's such an honor to have you here. I guarantee that my clothes are made with the utmost care and precision. Give me a chance to set this right. Just for you, I'll make a new one completely free of charge. But first, please, could I take your measurements? Yes, but make it quick. Well, this isn't going to end very well for you, Miss LaRoche. <laughs> You're going to die! And then be fed to one of the greatest men on the planet, I think. I don't know much about our... What's his name? G? Something? Uh, Let me think. Do you like red? Sorry? Yes, you should be sorry. How dare you come in here with such requests? Who do you think you are? What are you doing? Help! Help! It's a habit for you to it's a bad habit for you to scream like that. We are just starting to have fun. Help me, please! Ah! Where's your power now, you insolence? If you kill me, your life will be ruined! Everybody will come look for me! You better let me go now! I've had enough of uh, <clears throat> Sorry my voice cracked. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Damn! Oh, shit. Shit. What a pain in the ass. They're all done. They're, they are all dead now. Hildred must cook at these three bastards. Why can't I read? Then we just need to take our reward. Kill Mr. J. J, that's what it was. And leave this place. If what Yvonne said is true, we are in danger now. I hope the next letter won't take long to arrive. Oh boy! Now we have three dead bodies. That's just fantastic. This is actually this is this is lovely. Make a new dress for Yvonne. Great. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh boy, we are so screwed on on meat. All right, we've made forty eight dollars. Our reputation. Oh, yikes! 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 Yikes. Yikes. There is like nothing I can do. I wish there were just items on the menu that I could make without the use of the meat. Like, 
I understand that the whole purpose of the game is that, you know, we're cannibals. Um, and that most of our items, if not all, are made out of some kind of meat. But I can't keep up. I cannot keep up. All right. And in case any of you were wondering uh, who do know about this game well enough, I have been planting or I have been fertilizing this pot right here because uh, one of the things that they were saying about uh, the pot in the last video was that they weren't sure what exactly it was. So I have been fertilizing this. I think one of the achievements is to actually see the growth through and find out what it plants into. So I'm excited to see what that is. Nice little carnivorous plant, maybe. More than just decoration, probably. I am so screwed on meat. So I think a new strategy that I want to implement is uh, using the rats to cook instead of using the rats for like the display meals instead of using the meats for the display meals because the display meals are going to come in in handy when we got people sitting at the tables but because the rat is also a three-star meal that means it'll generate us a decent amount of money and the people at the tables i believe give us more money than the people buying from the displays anyways so i don't think that that should be an issue the only problem that we will have with that is that a lot of people are coming in for what's on the display and the cat takes really long to come back with some rats. So I need to pay attention to both what's going on in the displays and how long the cat has been gone for. So as soon as the first three uh, display meals are gone, I need to start making sure that that cat is back and then petting it immediately after. It's going to be chaotic, but I think that we can do it with less than five bad reviews. I want to say that this is good. I want to say that we're fine on the the gardening stuff. What am I lacking the most on down here? Okay. So I'm going to take the rest of the fertilizer and I'm going to use it on the onions, the tomatoes, and the eggs. Because we're fine, or not tomatoes, the potatoes. The onions, potatoes, and eggs. All right. And then the rest of the bodies that we get for today are only going to go towards the kitchen. Because I cannot sacrifice bodies for... <sighs> I can't sacrifice bodies for the, um... For the fertilizer. I need meat bodies. Now we are just about fully stocked on all of our gardening stuff. So whatever we order for the, whatever a person orders for the meat, they'll just have to wait for me to make more meat. Every, I need to really pay attention to what's going on up here in the tailoring shop because I cannot miss a single body. Because what happens is, I don't know if you've been paying that much attention, but if Percival, you know, starts measuring people for too long, the measurements will end, the person leaves, and then theoretically they would come back to buy, you know, one of the, one of the suits. So I need to make sure that I'm killing as many people as possible. My cat continues to come back with rats. It's perfect. As fast as I can. Oh, I, I kind of fucked up um, because I have all three of my plates anticipating to make, uh, anticipating to send the rats up to, why am I forgetting his name? What is, what is this kid's name again? Oh my God. He's been here for like three, four episodes by now. <sighs> Percival Hildred. Got his name whatever i sent it up to the kid and um but when the people sit down for the table for the food i'm not going to be able to put any of their stuff on the plates because the plates have rats on them let's open the shop and see how this goes i probably fucked myself over ah 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 okay this is perfect 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 meat potatoes that put that in there oh shit 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 kill her kill her ah oh i think this is gonna go a lot better than the day before because we're going to be well prepared this time i just really need to to get my shit together and focus
That takes so long. Oh my goodness. And I haven't been petting the cat at all. It also would be nice if she could carry more than one thing. That's also very much hurting my time. But I wouldn't say that we're doing too bad. I think, uh, I think everything is going great, actually. Everything is actually genuinely going fantastic. We got our last clients coming in. I don't think we've had any bad reviews so far. Everybody is being well fed. Oh, thank you for ordering something so simple. Oh my God. What table is that? Number three? Is that you guys? Holy shit, I could fucking kiss you right now. I could literally like smooch you on the face and do a godly unspeakable things to you in the nicest way possible. Like this. Making my life so easy. <sighs> Thank you. I didn't have to make anything with steak in it today. That also makes me very happy. The steak takes forever. Look at that, 81 pounds. 81 nice buckaroos. Everyone's well fed. Everyone's happy. I had no bad reviews. Only the good and the mixed ones. So I think using the rats was a, was a really good idea. That was probably the best idea I have had so far while playing this game. And playing this game was the first best idea. Nice! Yes! Ah, I am truly satisfied with your excellent work. You have killed all required targets. I am sure my threats have motivated you somewhat. Light the stove up and start setting up the table for my banquet. I expect everything to be perfect and extremely delicious, of course. Uh, of course. It will be there tonight. I will be there tonight with your reward. See you soon, Jay. Woohoo! Really... That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. And look at that. We still have plenty of, uh, plenty of vegetables and stuff for other meals. I'd say... I'd say now that I have the strat down, now that I have a decent strat down, we got this. There is no need to stress. I just need to be prepared for the day, only sell the rats as the display meals, and then I've got, I think I have a decent amount of meat for table meals. I need to make sure that I'm paying attention to what's going on up here in the tailoring shop. And right now, the only, I really don't even need to worry about this anymore because we're good. We are set. Let me do some upgrading. Oh, so close. So close. So close to having every single upgrade. So close. Damn it. So this time what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to only have two ovens cooking the rats. And then I'll have one plate left out because once the first table comes in, then I can start making their meal. And by then, three people will have come in to order whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I got this. I'm... I'm gonna kick my feet back and relax. No need to stress anymore. Today is the day. Today is the new start of a new life. A brand new life making so much more money. Ah, uh, yep. I'm thinking that this is gonna be the best day so far. We've already got $21 in the bank. First table guess what you want. What you want. What you want at the table. Something with sausage? I got you. Ba da ba, boom. Sausage, flour, bop, bop. Take that, cook that. And then as soon as we place that in there, we're gonna take these out. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, that'll work, whatever. Um, and we need the sausage. As fast as I can. We need the steak and some tomatoes. Shit, I keep forgetting about Percival. No! Shit, shit, did I miss one? Did I miss a customer? I most definitely missed one. What is it this time? What do you want? Something with steak? Perfect. I got that for you. I got it. I got it. I got that. 
as fast as I can. Baked tomatoes and potatoes. Now I just wait. Oh no! Why does every meal have to be a steak meal today? That's what I get. I got too excited about not having to cook any steak meals. And now I have to cook a steak meal. But that's okay. We have the gin. So even if they do go into the red, it's not going to hurt us too bad. Wait, I'm going to prioritize that sausage meal first because it won't take so long. Because I actually have the ingredients for that. Uh-oh. This is actually kind of a lot going on now. That's okay. That, this is actually okay. This is genuinely fine. I'm not even stressed. Because again, uh, him, he, is going to give them the gin once they get close to the red. And then everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. I don't have any sausage. Produce 20. Okay, cool. Thanks. Fantastic. That doesn't help me right now. An achievement only goes so far. You know what's crazy is I just realized she's not wearing any oven mitts. She takes all this food out with her bare hands. That's how you know these Hildred and Percival fucking savages. This guy's using scissors to kill people. She's taking food straight out of the oven with bare hands. I wouldn't want to be on their naughty list. They might make some banger meals, but I would not. I wouldn't shop here. I no, no, thank you. Okay, we're done. We are done for the day. That was our last that was our last meal. All right. We're done. This is a masterpiece. Hildred. Oh, Percival. You scared the hell out of me. Honey, I thought it was a client. Clients that come here aren't alive. Yes. Oh, yes, that's a good point. Why are you here? We are ready. Oh, finally. Did you have trouble? Or did you have trouble with Yvonne? I'm sorry, my voice gets so raspy sometimes. She was arrogant. Who isn't in this city? At least you have some fun. You had had at least you had some fun. We have gone too far this time. Yvonne told me that someone will come looking for her. We are in danger. That's not a problem. We can leave, like the last time. Disappear and start over again. Nothing will stop us as long as we are together. Yes, darling. Nothing and no one can stop us. Now we need to prepare the banquet. What if he doesn't come? He will come. I'm sure about it. He's going to come so much. So hard. But I don't know how the story will end. We will take the reward and kill him. But why? Why does Mr. J want to come here? He's not stupid. He surely knows we'll try to kill him no matter what. But we can't kill him if he doesn't give us our reward. Who knows what it is? Do you think he's bringing other, he's bringing other people? I don't know. I can't see a psychopath enjoying other people's company. Damn it. My camera's dead. But I'm not a psychopath myself. Are you sure you kill people for food? <laughs> so I couldn't tell. And what if he is armed? A weapon. I'm not afraid. We'll take him out anyway. Stop thinking about all these problems for once. Oh, he said, well, he, oh, he said, what if he's armed? I'm sure everything will be fine. Am I right? We'll get out of this together. As always. Now, come on. We need to bring the corpses down here. What about our assistant? How are we going to get the bodies past our assistant? Just out of curiosity. Just, just asking. For a friend, I think. We really deserve a little trip after all this. Hmm. Where would you like to go? Um... Far away from this city. A place where we can relax a bit and just enjoy ourselves. We earned lots of money here. 
We could go anywhere. By the sea. We'll find sharks. We'll feed sharks with our neighbors. <laughs> Come here now. Help me with Elliot. How do we bring Gilbert in the kitchen? Piece by piece. I thought you had a better idea. Damn. While I'm cooking, you should prepare the table here. This is the best place to kill Mr. J. Yes. Smile, my love. By this time tomorrow, we won't work here anymore. We'll be in a better place. Mr. J has finally arrived. He immediately made it clear that we would have our reward at the end of the meal. Did we beat the game? Tonight, I have outdone myself on the cooking front. The main dish is Gilbert, served rare with salt and pepper. Lady LaRoche is only skin and bones. I put her on the stove to avoid scorching the skin. Elliot has been here for a while. In fact, he smelt awful, but I still did a great job. I put his eyes in the pan with some sugar to caramelize them. Mm, such a scrumptious dessert. Mr. J seemed to enjoy his meal. He ate it as if he was starving. It was quite disgusting. The reward he offered us for our hard work? Just more bother. He requests that we become his personal chefs. Absolutely in not. In for his protection. Surely that would have made us untouchable, but also his slaves. We understood that he wasn't prepared to take no for an answer. We are no longer willing to play his games. The only thing that he will taste now are my scissors. Watch out! What? Whoa. Whoa. So I wonder if it's, I wonder if the ending is left up to interpretation as to who lived and who died. Because it could have been one of those things where Percival lunged at Mr. J and then Mr. J, as he was being stabbed or got killed, uh, pulled the trigger on the gun. Or maybe Hildred had a gun that we didn't know about. And when Mr. J tried to attack Percival while being attacked, she shot the gun. It, it, a, a million other things could have happened. Unless it tells us by the end of the, the credits. Thanks for playing Ravenous Devils. Continue from the last checkpoint and unlock everything. There are still clients to serve and kill. Shit! So it really is left up to interpretation. That was good. I'm gonna get the last upgrade just so that I feel some kind of security. Get all the upgrades. Mr. T would be proud. Yes, sir! Oh! And then just because I want to buy, there's like some $5 or some five pound upgrades here. Just because I don't. I don't necessarily care to own these. So I could I could literally do one more day and get my reputation up, but I'm I'm ending it here. That was the end of Ravenous Devils. We finished the game. Oh, it was good. It was good. It made me it made me feel very uncomfortable at times because of like the whole cannibalism kind of thing. But it's all part of the fun. It's all part of the game, and I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and I hope you guys did as well this was a fun game uh, I was recommended a few other games that were similar to this in terms of gameplay and story based situations and then the studio who made this game is also making another one called while we wait here I believe uh, which should be coming out either this year or next year I don't know steam kind of just says 2024 but that could change at any point so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what else the this, this studio can cook up. I'm excited to play some other games. We have finally gotten another series finished and under our belt. <laughs> ah, it's very satisfying. It's very rewarding. But I 
enjoyed it. it. There's not much to it. The game did very, get difficult at times, especially when I didn't have a decent strategy. But I, I, pers I persevered. I made it through. I persevered. I am the greatest cannibalistic chef you have ever seen. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see the full playlist of Ravenous Devil, I'll have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body.